let's go through now and let's do just a real typical order to cash. So I'm going to start off with a sales order. And with a sales order, I don't have to know the company. Let's, let's play with Shell. We keep playing with Shell. Hit tab. Notice it pulls up. And this is called uh, Type Forward Technology, where it just tries to guess what you're looking for. And I'm going to give it a delivery date. I'm going to go out today and the reference number, which is, oh, what is it, 18? What is it today? Oh, 10.05.05.01 is today's date. And if I know what I'm looking for, I can maybe type in 4,000. And it's pulling all this. Now, notice it's showing me real time some availability. Uh, I want that one, I want that one, and that one. Oops, I don't want that one, that one. So notice the order one, two, and three. As I choose this in, because some customers are picky about that, it pulls this in. Now, we're going to talk about personalization. I pulled all this in, and I can see really quickly, let's make this a little bit larger. I can see what's in stock in the warehouse. But what if I want to put in some notes? Well, business. One lets me personalize my work setting, my work setting, and I can come down here and I want to add type, and I want to add type because now I want to add maybe uh, a subtotal, and then I want to add in a little text and say, and if I have predefined text, I can have some predefined text. Don't have any in this system, but we'll go. Uh, Thank you for the order. In personalization, I can actually then send that out. So if I want to email it. Or if I want to print it out, we can do that. I can also push the button and send it out via fax. So we're going to do a sales order here. I'm going to take this and walk this through the entire process real quick. So let's take this and copy this to a delivery. And you're going to see it copies everything over for me. And I'm going to point out, you'll notice that the screen's exactly the same. Why do we do this? Well, that's part of making it easy to learn because you really only have to learn the item master, the customer master, and the what we call the business document form. They're always the same. It's either going to be customer or supplier up here with four main tabs, contents, logistics, the, you know, where to ship to and shipping type, the accounting information. And then of course we can put an unlimited number of attachments. But what this does is it makes it very easy for people to learn because once they've learned these few screens, they've really learned the entire application. So we're going to go in here and we're going to hit add and that is going to do the delivery. And it's going to go, oh, it's going to give me a nice alert there that I'm going to fall below minimum. Sure, why not? It's to say, yes, you're creating an accounting document. You can't change it. You can reverse it, but you can't change it. And now we have down here, we're going to copy this to an AR invoice. So when we come down into this AR invoice, you'll see the tracking. So it's based on the sales order, based on the delivery. I just simply have to hit add. All it takes. I can also do a run at the end of the day. And there we go. Now, if you want to see the transaction history, and I'm just not going to cheat. I'm going to get rid of the sales order here. I just want to show you just a, one of the key features of business one is called the relationship map. And what this does is gives me a visualization of the entire transaction history. So if I'm coming in later and I'm looking at the AR invoice, I can see the sales order and the delivery. Um, if you wanted to see the items, of course, you could see the, uh, oops, not the posting, you chose the item, right? And yes, if you wanted to see the uh, journal entries, we'd be able to drill into the journal entry and see the journal entry. So really quick, really easy using a visual analogy just to make people sort of intuitively understand how this system is gonna work for them. So let's finish up this demo. Let's get some, take some money. So uh, Shell is actually the fastest paying customer in the world. And so I have an incoming payment from them. Again, just very simple. I can just type in Shell. And it shows me all the receivables down here. I'm gonna select which one. This is the one that just came in. Now I'm gonna click on my little money bag and I'm going to, uh, it automatically defaults to their, their default payment type that I've just specified in their, their card with us. And now I'm just gonna go in and I can put in all this data. I'm just actually gonna cheat and just put in, where's my dollar amount? Right there, right click. And I'm just going to copy balance two. And I'm just gonna hit okay. So it was one, two, three clicks. Fourth here and that's it. Now, if I right click, 
take a look at the relationship map, you're going to see that that AR invoice is turned green because it is paid. And you notice now its status is closed. Matt?